Oh, there we go. There we go. Now it's all right. Now it's all fixed. Everything's good now. Hello, everybody! Sorry, let me uh, get everything up again. There we go. Now it's now it's now it's good. <laughs> yeah, I'm not supposed to be streaming right now. This is actually my uh, nap time. Normally I get home from work and I'm like, I really need to fucking nap. But now it's like, well, I have this. So I wanted to play this before I went and did my other stream today. So I'm still going to do my stream. Uh, my, my, my other game. Yeah, the other thing I had planned today, but I also wanted to do this So, you know, logically I probably should have played this afterwards, you know, like sometime in the night That would have been a really sane normal decision considering it's Friday, but Here we are now. This is the decision I made Hmm. I Don't know what awaits this time. This game just came out today. You know, everybody else is like playing. Uh, what is it? Power world? Yeah, that game is everywhere right now. That, that's just kind of something that happens. That's like a consequence of life, right? I might play that later, but but this is a higher priority right now. <laughs> this is a higher priority. Mostly because I really like the aesthetic of this series, like I said. Ah, oh, Little Bro has announced finally visual novel stream. I think there is a visual novel in these mini games. So this is just a series of little mini games. Based off of the main game, which I'm sure you all are very familiar with, because, you know... Um, is happy, happy dating game? Huh. Get to go on a date with a cute girl. I guess that's what we're doing first. <gasps> let's -a go! English! Oh, shit. Uh-huh. Wait, I think the audio switched. Hold on. Mmm... Oh god. <laughs> Why did it launch a completely different game? Hold on. I did not anticipate this. This was not in the cards. Um, Let me see if I can get this to work. It has to be scuffed. Hopefully this works on the first try. Um. Oh, that is loud as hell. Um, nope, that's... Hold on. That's still loud as hell. Okay, I got that to work. You know what, hold on a second. Well, that's definitely not working as intended. <laughs> Hold on a second. 
I mean, it's better than nothing, right? I can't actually get this to fit properly. Let's hold on. Wait a minute. That is that that's you know what that that works. That works. That's close enough. There we go. Problem solving. Full of bugs. A little bit. A little bit. Um I didn't think it was gonna open a completely different window. Yeah, it's good enough. Look at her. Look at her. This is weirdly nostalgic. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this. The one who spoke was a well-dressed girl who liked to dream big and call her partner a stupidly cute name like Pichan. Her name was Ame and she was my girlfriend. I'm so in. <laughs> her black skirt fluttered around her thighs as she hovered excitedly, sort of like a fly buzzing over a pile of garbage. Well, isn't that cute? That's- that is adorable. She made no attempt at hiding her desire for my attention. How did I end up with such a mentally ill girlfriend? Hmm. And so... It was so, so cute. She knew she was cute better than anyone, in fact. <laughs> Every single one of her movements was exaggerated for the perfect effect, and it always worked. She was the star of her own show, running 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. She knew she could get away with it too because of how adorable she was. She wielded her own cuteness like a weapon that could get her anything she wanted. Although she had a childish charm to her, she had the cunning mind of a veteran tactician. What the fuck? <laughs> oh. oh, Croc has announced several carrots! Holy carrot. <gasps> it's him. Captain Crunch jump scare. Oh! Hello! Hello, you can be the third wheel to, to my date with this beautiful woman who, who should probably be in a mental is institution. But but that but that's okay, cause cause she's cute, so it's okay. It's 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 totally okay. <laughs> no, but uh, thank you for the raid. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I I'm I'm trying to like acclimate to this game. This this game just dropped today, so it's like it's mesmerizing. I feel like she would stab me in my sleep, but that's all right, you know? Cause I know, I know she would do it out of love. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Thanks for working so hard for me all the time. I know you fell asleep at your desk cause you were up all night editing videos for me. So I feel kind of bad waking you up. But what, what does this bitch want? What does she want? Ave fidgeted with her hair and looked at me apologetically. Her thick, glossy locks hung in two pigtails and a long fringe that covered half of her- This is very descriptive. <laughs> she could cry all she wanted from her hidden eye and no one would be none the wiser. It was an extra layer of protection along with her over-the-top acting. That's my theory anyway. Legend has it no one has ever seen the left half of Ave's face. Not even I am privy to what's underneath her bangs. Hmm. You don't fucking say. Lovecraftian level of description? I don't know, maybe she's like an eldritch horror of some sort. Alright, sleepyhead, I'm gonna go brush my teeth, do my skincare routine, and get changed. This bitch is probably gonna take like 45 minutes to get ready, and we're just like, going outside to grab the mail or something. Hmm. You better be ready for our date by the time I'm done. Yeah, 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 of course. She beamed at me, her smile warm and bright like the sun. She was so beautiful and adorable, like a little flower begging me to pick her. How could I ever say no to her? People see- <laughs> People say that every beautiful rose has its thorns, but I think it's a little different for Ame. Her arms were covered in thin scars that ran across them haphazardly. <laughs> If she had thorns, th those thorns were hurting her too, but flowers don't do that, so what would she be instead? She's fucking crazy! What the fuck? <laughs> uh, what F5678 is giving you gears? Like, Peach Chan isn't real, it's all in her head. She's bad. <laughs> um, maybe a little bit, but that's, that, yeah. Yeah. She is covered in barbed wire, but that's just part of her charm, you know? And I don't want to hear you complaining about this date being too short notice or whatever, okay? Love is unpredictable like that. Or don't you care about me enough to keep up? 
A single tear rolled down her cheek from her right eye. All traces of her earlier smile had disappeared as sadness pulled the corners of her lips downward. She wailed as she swung into a full-blown breakdown. You know, I forgot, um, I forgot how much I fucking hated her. It's weird how that- it's- it- I- I just- I forgot how high maintenance she is. It- it's all coming back to me now. It's been so long. You know, I feel like she would be a lot more attractive if she just didn't talk. I- I love her to death, though. That's, yeah, I- I love her to death. It, it's fine. Mm. Wow, boohoo, you don't even love me, do you? You're just with me because you want the super chats I squeeze out from my nerd fans. That's called emotional abuse, you know. <laughs> she sniffled and wiped the tears from her face. Her cheeks took on a pinkish tint as her eyes continued to leak and grow puffy. Rather than diminish her looks, however, it only served to make her already enormous eyes look even bigger. Is this how visual novel writing is? It's very- it's- it's- it's kind of like overly descriptive, I don't know. Is her sister single? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't know. Of course, all of this was an act too. Ame had perfected the craft of crying on command and making it look really convincing. As a streamer, she needed precise control over her emotions, turning on whatever she wanted like a switch to elicit certain reactions from her viewers it was her job to cry and smile with purpose or even get so riled up she could snap a keyboard in half i was familiar with all of this as someone who lived with her and cared for her in a romantic capacity just as i knew everything about ame i knew this was a charade she was putting on uh, she was putting on was her way of showing her love towards- I don't think that's the case and I- I don't- I, I don't know about this one. <clears throat> I also knew that if I ever saw her cry real tears, it could only mean one thing, that it, things were over between us. But even though I knew this wasn't real, she was still crying and no proper human being would leave a girl crying. Hmm. I mean, I would. If it was her, I think I would do that. I had to do something to soothe her. The tears being faked did change the fact that she was deeply stressed from streaming every night and desperately needed a break. Putting herself out there on MeTube and social media meant that all eyes were on her. She had worships or <laughs> worshippers that treated her like a goddess. People who made it their personal mission to poke fun at her. And others who saw her as a sounding board for their emotions. Wow, that's fucking rough. Cry me a river. Mm. Is this a fan game or a sequel slash spinoff? This is a spinoff. This is the official translation, believe it or not. Although we haven't actually made any progress in the story. This is all describing her fucking crying. This is several paragraphs describing her not even real emotional distress. Hmm. It was simple enough to understand how such chaos would eat away at one's mental well-being, but only those who'd been through the same thing could truly empathize. Maybe the money and attention really were as intoxicating as she made it out to be, but even so, could this hell truly be worth it to her? Oh, she's smiling again, isn't that this- that, that's- that's just the damnedest thing, isn't it? Hmm. Alright, now that we're going on this date, says me, let's decide on where to go. Choose wisely, cause it could make me love or hate you more. Did I also mention that it'll affect what ending you get? Well, now I have... Rigged from the jump. If you ask me, Ame was stuck. She had real skill and talent. She was a smart girl. Every night she would don her silly costume as the internet angel and stream under the name OMG. Ka Kawaii Angel, just K Angel from now on because saying the full thing every time is way too much effort. Her streams gathered hundreds and thousands of nerds from all over cyberspace every night. All of the respect, lust, jealousy, hate, love, and boredom that congregated were compiled into a neat little metric known as the viewer count. Then that number would determine how much money she would receive for her efforts. It didn't matter what intentions her viewers went into the stream with. The important thing was that they became another number for the pile of numbers that ended up as cash in her bank account. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what the fuck is this writing? And boy, did she have a lot of those numbers. Not to toot my own horn, but I had a very big hand in keeping those figures up. 
Ame was hugely dependent on me during her daily life, and most of the logistics of her streams were handled by me too. But that's enough about that. The undeniable thing was her overwhelming charm was what made her career possible. Stats drove people crazy. That backlog? Oh. Those numbers pushed them to the brink. At some point, Ame must have wondered whether I loved her for who she was or for the numbers she produced. You know, this- uh, we- we have not gotten anywhere in the game, by the way. This is still the fucking intro. We started off as two broke asses who found comfort in each other without any money in the equation. I think what we had was genuine love for one another. Now neither of us could be so sure anymore. On the other hand, it was possible that we were too close for either of us to unstick ourselves. No matter how hard she tried to ignore it, there would always be one persistent worry at the back of her mind. Maybe I can't be satisfied with my partner anymore. The image of us splitting could be looping in her head. I don't think there's anything going on upstairs. Like this, this is, I, I don't know, man. Tamboli should have read this as a novel. It's, I mean, it's a visual novel, right? It's, it's the same principle. <clears throat> It was something the two of us had to overcome together, though. What does being in a relationship mean? Could we take the steps into the future together, hand in hand? These were the questions we had to face. Um, there was a middle school dropout who had a terrible person- How the fuck do you drop out in middle school? Hold on. Huh. Hmm. Hmm? Damn. Well, that sucks. Anne could do stupid things sometimes, but she was always thinking about things much more than the average person. If her head was really empty, as people like to say, she would never have made it so big as a streamer. Hmm. She was the kind of person who would rather be direct and spring a surprise date on her partner than try some elaborate scheme to bait me into one. There was the hope that the element of surprise would bring back the butterflies we both felt when we started dating too. From a practical angle, it was also a good way to assess how one's partner would deal with an unexpected and potentially stressful situation. I mean, we'd all want someone who could handle both as well. The fucking mental gymnastics going on right now. <clears throat> Why does it have such a long monologue? I don't know, man. I I, I... I... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Plus, I'm not really one to talk. I chose this after all. OMG, wait, so we're actually going- Ame's eyes sparkled like a thousand diamonds. I didn't care if this was an actor or not. I wanted to believe that underneath her long bangs, her left eye was also shining like the brightest star in the sky. Yay! I'm so excited! Whatever happens since this in the future, I just want us to be happy. Okay, let's pick a place to have our date. P-chan, I'll go wherever you go, unless it's jail. Then no. I feel like we should take her to the hospital. Childhood home, urban exploration, beach, not not gonna Broadway. Um, um, let's let's uh, let's take you to the hospital. I think we need to fix you. Are you seriously taking me to the hospital for our date? You're lucky you have me, cause any other girl would have dumped your ass straight away. I mean, it's fine. I'm nearly out of meds anyway, so it's good timing. You planned this date cause of that, didn't you? You're always so on top of things. Thanks, Peach Ant. <laughs> Today we were at the psych ward. <laughs> On my off to come, came here to pick up various pills and prescriptions. She had SSRIs, stronger stuff for her really bad day, sleeping pills, medicine that stopped her from suddenly recalling things that were too painful to remember, all sorts of things. If she ever ran out of those, she'd have to play the dangerous game of facing reality all on her own. Since all my spellbooks were running low, I decided to bring her here before things got out of hand. Doesn't it seem counterintuitive to have a system where people who struggled with thing doing things on time all the time had to pick up their meds on time all the time? Hmm. Hey, you ever think about the people you see in waiting rooms? I think the ones I see here are especially unique. This ward accepted many patients with tough cases, so the waiting room could be quite confronting, too. Most of them weren't that out of the ordinary, though, like the old folks playing their Game Boys, even though it was released way past their time. Those who wandered back and forth in the corridors, like NPCs and kids who clung to their mothers, unmoving and unspeaking, as different as they were, they're... 
was one thing that they all had in common. They were all living with the unthinkable traumas that regular mentally healthy folk couldn't even begin to imagine. It is a cute outfit, I agree with that. I've been telling you, my ideas keep getting stolen every day by famous mangakas. I'm the one who originally invented the dark fantasy genre. I've already told you this before. There was a middle, a man, middle-aged perhaps, in a room somewhere shouting, possibly, probably arguing with his doctor. It was to be expected in this war. Uh, and all the staff seemed used to it. Anyone who wanted to work here would no doubt have to be able to take those kinds of outbursts calmly, without affirming or denying them. The man raged on, still inflamed by the plagiarism he was convinced was happening. It's happening all the time! On that website! Shosen Setsuka Ninaro. That everyone could post their light novels to! <laughs> They're all reading my stories and ripping me off. Even the ones that get anime adaptations, except their MCs are all shit and bland. <laughs> the shouting went on for a good while. Ame stared at the door that it seemed to be coming from her face, peaceful and composed. Everyone here is fighting their own battles the best they can. It's tough when your worst enemies and best friends both come from inside your own head. I know what it feels like. There was a time where it felt like I had insects buzzing around in my head all day long. They would all fly around and screech and cause me all sorts of grief. I probably screamed like that man too, just to stop hearing them from me for even a second. I fought that battle alone too, just like he probably is. I watched, intrigued, as Ami's face grew solemn. It was a rare sight to behold. I laid my hand on top of hers and laced our fingers together. If someone cut the two of us out of the context right now, we'd be just like any other couple, enjoying each other's company side by side. However, comma, we weren't like any other couple. I mean, how many others out there would spend their date at a psych ward? Didn't matter to me, though, or Abe. We were both perfectly fine with spending our time here. For people out there who have it tough... Wait, what? For people who have it to tough it out alone, they must really hate me for having someone like you with me. Maybe they'd even curse me for being so blessed with such an adorable face, too. Mm. I wouldn't blame them if they hated me for building a name for myself and earning money through my streams by using my outcast energy to attract fans and sympathy. I must be something like a class traitor to them. If they were pointing behind my back and saying I was faking it all for clout, I wouldn't blame them at all. Yeah, it's really fucking weird. This has no music right now. <laughs> so, uh, in case you're wondering, no, that's not a stream issue. There's just straight up no fucking music in the game right now. <coughs> oh, God. I certainly feel it on most days, but who would I be if I didn't turn my mental illness into a business? I'd just be a stupid middle school dropout. I have my good looks, too, but they can only get me so far in this cruel world. I only got so big as K-Angel cause of my hard work and I won't let anyone talk down to me about all the time and effort I've invested. Hmm. Whatever, that's just all fluff anyway. Having a partner like you who'd keep tabs on my meds and actually uh, take me to get more when I'm nearly out automatically makes me more privileged than half the people out here on earth. I wouldn't have the right to even look at the man beyond that door in the eye. Ame chuckled softly, resigned. Her face grew dark as she fell silent, gripping my hand back. Ah! Hey, cuties. It's K-Angel, your totally normal internet angel who has a super normal brain. What did you all get up to today? I went to the upstairs doctor for the first time in a while today. Aren't I so good? Well, it's nothing special, really. We should normalize getting professional help when we need it. Anyways, I took my meds earlier today, so if I seem a bit out of it, that's why. If I see something weird, no, I didn't. But if I did, just give me a gentle poke in the comments. Mm. Okay. The place I go to is pretty well known, actually. I looked up my symptoms and just picked a doctor that seemed like they would get it. So wherever I go, whenever I go, 
I see a lot of people like myself there. The surprising thing is, if you look up the hospital's reviews, they're actually super bad. They're all like, the doctors never take me seriously. They're all quacks. Well, I guess all online reviews are so, kind of like that. That's why we trust like Google reviews, you know? Hmm. But you know, the people writing them probably weren't in the best state of mind, and yet they continue to go to that hospital. When you think about it, wouldn't all these low reviews actually mean the place is good then? I know it's good for me because the staff there listens to me and makes me feel okay. Why is the music speeding up? <laughs> My point is, the reviews there are so bad because the patients feel like they can express themselves however they like, which is actually a good thing. The world can be such a tricky place, huh? Anyway, if any of you are going through it right now, I hope you can find a professional that you vibe with. But before that, get yourself something warm to drink and bury yourself in your comfy bed and get a good night's sleep. I'm gonna send you all to bed now, so get ready. Good night now, my little dear. It's blessed. <sighs> I'm so tired of her, bros. I'm so tired of her. Yeah, I had so much fun yesterday. Where will you take me next? Surprise me! <laughs> we're gonna play a different mini game now. <laughs> I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna play a different mini game now. Okay, I actually have to reload the game. I don't want to feel. I. I. I don't want to listen to her bullshit anymore. I can't take it anymore. I fucking can't. I straight up can't take it anymore. I don't want to go through that shit anymore. Please don't make me read that shit anymore. I can't handle it anymore. <laughs> Oh. Now this audio is barely audible. I'm gonna have to adjust this again. I gotta already tell. Hold on. Okay. Um. Oh, this is in JP. There we go. Um. A shooting game? Uh, her room. Do I want to go to her room? I think. I think I could probably. You know what? Uh, uh let's let's just go here, right? Please wait warmly as it loads. How warmly? <laughs> Am I okay? Oh shit, not again. Not this shit again. Oh god, no, oh no. Oh wait, hold on. Hold on. One, one, one second, I have to go through this again. Hold on. Uh. I think- I think they fixed this? Wait a minute. Okay, you guys can hear that. Okay, okay, it's good. I just need to- <laughs> Fuck, this is horrible. I'm sorry the stream is so scuffed, by the way. This is like... Not my finest work, but at the same time, um... 
yeah, this game just came out, so I'm not really surprised it's having some issues. It's not completely my fault, it's just mostly my fault. I think the audio might need to be a little louder, so let me fix that. Alrighty, there we go. There we go. I don't even know what this is. Yay, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Where, call me cat? What are we, what are we doing now? Hmm? Wait, what? What's gonna have the, wait, what? Hmm? A, a death threat? What? What? Huh? Huh? Are we about to fight? Oh, we actually do have to fight. What the f Wait, I have meds. <laughs> oh. Huh? What am I supposed to do? Wait, what? Oh. Hold on. I have to actually, um... That isn't the same game? No, it is. Wait, oh. Oh! Oh! Okay, 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 I see. <laughs> it is the same. This works now. You just have to press E. Shake medicine, bullets. Eh? Remember to read the instructions before playing these games, chat. Uh. Where is the select button? Well, isn't that a fucking novel idea? Well, what do I press? What do I press? What, what, what do I... What am I su what am I... What do I... How do I... What the fuck? <laughs> what do I do? It is not P. The answer is not- And I can't even go back now. I'm stuck in this screen now. This was a very ambitious plan and not one that I thought out very well. It is not enter. E for interact. It's not E. It's not space bar. Um. Y or Z? It's neither of those either. Oh, it's X. Well, eventually we found the right answer. That makes no fucking sense, by the way. That's completely illogical. Am I supposed- to, I think I'm, maybe I'm supposed to follow the road? I can't tell. There's- there's a lot of- a lot of people in my path though, so let's just, uh... Does it even show my health? Oh, no, I guess we're just slowly getting update- uh, okay. Huh? Hmm? Uh... Oh, what does the duck do? What what the what the duck do? <gasps> oh. Okay, okay, okay. I appreciate these scuffed mini games, you know. I appreciate them. They're a little strange. I don't know quite what I was expecting, but this is, it's kind of cute in a weird way. We're looking hollow character. <laughs> well, it's okay, I'm a master at the art of pressing a button on the keyboard. How hard can it be, right? Oh, shit, I can dash? Uh, uh... I didn't even notice that. Uh, oh god! Oh wait, they're chasing me. Please get away! Oh, shit! Oh. Um... Eh... Uh... Oh! The laser is quite helpful. Please... Please get away. Please get away. Why am I dying? I need help. Ah. Tracking capsule? Hmm. Okay. Oh. 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 Hello. Is this a boss? I think this is a boss. Boss battle. <laughs> Now we're in business. It's me versus the world right now. This is fucking tough though. I mean, these ones just move in a straight line, right? So that's not too hard. 
But if those red ones show up again, then maybe I'm in danger. I'm afraid of what this game may hide me. You, you know what? You, you and me both, buddy. You and me both. <laughs> Sorry if this isn't the most invigorating thing ever. I, I really should have looked into this more before playing. But, however... You know, sometimes it's these little, little experiences that we get to enjoy the most. Multiverse nerds. It'd be like that some days. I want to keep playing more of these mini games, but I also don't feel like going through the emotional pain of loading them up. Well, at least now I know. Now I know that apparently in a launcher there can be several other launchers. Did you guys know that? I didn't know that. I mean, it's 2024. You, you wouldn't really expect that. <sighs> you wouldn't expect that. Am I winning? I am absolutely thriving right now. Mm. What happened? I cleared a sta- wait, there's stages? Press X. Press X to doubt- Grrrr! <laughs> Goodbye, cuties, kills. That's- that is so relatable. Blah. Mmm, I did it. I committed murder. <laughs> Never thought I'd get attacked by rope. oh, they're robots, okay. There she is. Let me sm- <laughs> This is the official game, by the way. Um. Uh, 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 okay. I'm so sick of th that character. Is isn't she though? That's that's what I'm saying. Defeat more nerds. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, red is an ult. Ah, glad to have you back. It's nice to be back. You know, I could be napping right now, but instead, I'm committing murder. Against robots. I would never actually kill anybody. Except with kindness. But murder isn't kind, so that, you, you know, you, 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 you get the point. Eh? They're so large and intimidating. What if I just aggressively press this button until they die? It worked! Whew! That's crazy! It's crazy how that works. I wonder what, like, the moral of this game is. I'm gonna just- I'm gonna dodge them and avoid confrontation. Yeah, I think maybe that's the lesson. Wait, why are these- what, what, Oh, oh shit! Uh, why are they charging at me? Are, are the lasers pr pr Prozac or Vi- I, I, Oh man, I don't- I don't- I don't think- I think they're just regular old lasers, you know? I'm gonna just keep grabbing lasers because it's really fun. Morals? Yeah, like the mushroom- oh shit. Uh. Aren't I so graceful? I mean, this this isn't even that bad. I, I think I'm doing a great job. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, no! Get away! 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 <laughs> no! <laughs> Motherfucker. Okay, let's try that again. This time with feeling. But like a happy feeling, not like the feeling of dying in a really embarrassing way. Come here, nerds. I, I got you. I got this in the bag. You know, like the cat? What? Like, oh shit. No, not again. There's gotta be a better way to do this. I, I feel like I'm really uh, dropping the ball. Now there's like pressure on you. Know, I, I can't perform under pressure. I, 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 I can't, I can't, I, oh god, no! No, 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 I'm fine. This is fine. We're gonna try that again! We're gonna try that again. Maybe bullet upgrades or grand you know, I, I feel like I can do this. I feel like I can do anything I set my mind to. <laughs> Try 
drink some water. Nah, it's fine, bro. I, I'll, I'll be fine. I'm, 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 I'm doing great right now. This is, all oh, this is, this is all good. See, look at this. My performance has rapidly risen. I am, I am, I'm doing better than ever. I'm, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. How, how, how are you doing? Get him, get him. <laughs> See, this is a lot more bearable than listening to her talk. Like I said, she's a lot- she's a lot cuter when she's not talking. Ugh, that's just like, you know, that's, that's just- yeah, it's alright. Chick medicine, okay. Oh, it's a rainbow nerd. Hey there, buddy! Please die for me. Eh? Why? Why? <laughs> okay, I'll try one more time on this game. One more time. Mm. Long time don't no see. What? Hmm? Eh? Do not reinforce, really? What? Hold on. I want to focus really hard. How the fuck did that work? How the fuck did that work? How did- how did- how did that work? How did that actually work? <laughs> what? How did that work? Quark. Why are they coming from the tree? Bwesh. This is their final one. That, that sounds vaguely threatening. Maybe the option to not reinforce is the better option, but that doesn't- that literally makes no sense from like a tactical perspective. Hmm. Oh yeah, we're gaming now! <laughs> we're gaming now! Reinforcing. Oh, hello there. <laughs> and by hello there, I mean goodbye. <laughs> Hi. Born in flame, she has been blessed. Her family crest is the demon of death. Is this poetry? Oh. Hmm. Not too bad, right? I mean, not, not too shabby. I'm feeling good about this. You know, I'm in peak form right now. And by peak form, I mean I'm killing shit at a very rapid rate. Do not reinforce. <laughs> Alrighty. I don't know if I'm actually doing this properly or like... Hmm. Uh, yeah. She's in the swing. Perhaps so. I mean, all I have to do is, like, dodge and throw shit out. It's really- it's really not that bad if you look at it from that angle, you know? It's, it's really not too bad. The best offense is no defense. <gasps> do not reinforce. <laughs> I don't even know why that's an option. Uh... I don't know, do nerds even- does it- does it mean the same thing as it used to? I feel like the terminology's uh, changed a little bit. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Oh, I can't even turn around, can I? Hmm. Well, it worked, huh? There's more. There's more. Uh oh. Oh wait, that worked. Never mind, we're good. But I think I have to kill these guys up here too. <laughs> Oh, the other weapons are maxed out so the do not reinforce is to leave the page. But I could still select the other ones. 
I think so. It's not been a real an, an insult for at least four years. So you're saying if I called you a nerd, you would you wouldn't feel bad? I, what if I said it in like a really aggressive tone, like <laughs> a fucking nerd? But but like with actual like you know like hatred behind it. Yeah, would be so nice, would it? Do not reinforce. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's the train, right? That they're coming from. It's the source of my woes. Oh. All right, I have that dash. <gasps> no, no, no. Very bad. Hmm. Very bad. Oh, 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 hold on. Huh? Hold your horses. Okay. 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 Oh, huh? okay. Laser is carrying right now. Sorry, I'm I'm I'm, I'm focusing because I took damage, so I can't take more damage. That's just how life works, you know. We can only take so much damage before it's just too much. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I'm scared, bros. I'm so scared. <laughs> I can't even get close enough. <laughs> Please. Please let me get closer. Oh, wait, did it did it die? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> oh. This is too mentally taxing. Okay, now I can get closer. Again. <laughs> Whose laser is stronger? I feel like it's speeding up, I don't know. That might be my imagination. <clears throat> okay. 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 <laughs> I'm being a sweaty nerd about this now. That's totally fine though. Eh. My lasers are fine at least. Bro, is this thing gonna fucking die anytime soon? Please? Please die for me? can't tell if I'm getting stronger. I don't know, I feel like the crowd's not as scary as it. What? Huh? Oh, they died. Okay. <laughs> I, thought, I thought I was fucked. Stage clear. Hmm. We did it. We did it. Oh, that was it. I beat that game. I actually did it. I couldn't do the visual novel, but I managed to beat that one. All the stupid nerds are gone. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Got some good content ideas today too. Tell me how well they peach in. <laughs> I had a feeling that was the last boss. I had a feeling. Alright, let me switch to the next game now. Because this shit's broken. And it don't work too well. It's gonna take a second. Hold your horses. Hold them with great anticipation.
Okay, I think I got that. I think it's all good now. Well, nope, I fucked that up. That's on the wrong layer. <gasps> Anxiety. I'm, I'm bouncing around from games too quickly. Okay. Well, yep, there we go. <laughs> so close to greatness. And yet, not quite. Alright, there we go. I think I got it now. Let me adjust that. And then I'll make it visible. And then you guys will be like, wow, she totally got it on the first try and isn't fumbling around. Fumbled the ball, bro. Fumbled the fucking ball. Yep, there we go. Wait, is the audio okay? Hold on. <clears throat> it's kind of loud, but... Yeah, let me lower it a little. That is not in English. But you know what? That's okay. Okay. I don't know what any of that means, but okay. Oh, it's this. It's a uh, pinball. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, hold on. This isn't gonna break YouTube TOS, is it? What? I am rapidly I oh, hold on. I gotta activate my pro gamer moves for this. <laughs> Someone translate? Oh, uh, we're doing our best right now. Oh, heart. What? We know it's okay. It's okay. She's clothed underneath. We're good. I'm, I'm normally better at these sorts of games. Hold on. Huh? Just like the good old days. It's giving me so many upgrades! Wait, wait, she is clothed underneath, right? Right? Okay. Okay, pretty sure it's not that type of game. I, I don't know, man, you say that, but, uh... Something ain't right about this. This isn't my angel. Huh? Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Now we in business. Da, 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 da. I forget what um what type of game is this? It's not just called Brick Breaker, is it? I think there's like an actual name for or maybe it is. Maybe it is. I used to play this a lot as a kid though. Not obviously not this specific game, but this type of game. I really liked it. I was like, wow, this is so cool. It's so simple. It's always the simple things that get you. This is very PG-17. Well, you know what? You know what? Sometimes, sometimes that's okay. We got it. You know, v variety is the spice of life. Isn't that what they say? Breakout? Is it called breakout? Uh. I wonder if that was it. Was that all we had to do? Hmm. Huh. Eh. It's always the last brick that gets you. Come on, bro. Come on. This is nice pixel art. Oh, come on! I'm so close to greatness. I can almost grasp it. Alright, listen here, bitch. <laughs> listen here! I know this probably hurts you guys, but know that this, this hurts me more than it hurts you. At ease? What are you- Bro, look at this. What am I supposed to do? Where where do I hit it? <laughs> how do I how do I how do I get it? Really? Come on, bro. You know I don't ask for much. I like to think I'm a pretty reasonable woman. You know I'm not I'm not I'm not. <laughs> she is taunting me and I don't like it. Uh, just a little a little closer, just a little more. A little little. Hmm. Huh? Huh? Wait, what? It. it okay. <laughs> I was like, there's no fucking way, bro. Game clear. What? Was that it? Really? Oh. We did it. I did it. I don't know what you're saying to me, but, but, you know, uh, yeah, I agree. <laughs> the end? Oh, that was all. 
Well, shoot. I'll, I'll be damned. See? Oh, I guess that was it. Yeah. Hmm, 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 hmm. Okay. And now there's one thing left in the collection. This is really quite straightforward, actually. This is... Is this gonna load? Okay, yeah. There we go. Now I have to turn this up again. Now I have to turn this up here, and then... Do, do. Angel's room. <gasps> Hi, cutie. Welcome to my room. Make yourself at home. I thought it was gonna be like one of those, uh, you live like this situations, but no, this is actually quite normal. Uh, this turned me from s oh, this turned from me saying, wouldn't it be cool if we had a fan disc parodying one of those from the 90s into a full-blown thing that captured my idea incredibly well, which is amazing. I'm so blessed to have a team that I could have a bas blast creating this with. I feel like NSL has become something we can freely unreach uh, fun and creativity with. Oh. We absolutely had a ball with this, so we'd like to pass those feelings on to all our players too. It really make our day. The main game didn't go much into the dates with Ame involved, so I was really happy that we got the opportunity to expand on that with the bonus content. Is that what that shit was about? Really? <laughs> um, I'm psyched to the producer. I love these kinds of mini games and short visual novels. I think everyone should make more of them. I'm so happy you get to share these with you today. Oh, we just get their thoughts. I did the art for Ame and the VN. That was actually really nice art. Racking my brain for how she would feel during certain parts. I'm very lucky to have been blessed with the opportunity to capture her cuteness. Ah, uh, the script. So, at least now we know who wrote that script. I feel like it's probably a lot better in the Japanese version. Hopefully, at least. The English version is extremely unhinged. That is why I did not want to read any more of it. I think- I think it's just the characters where you can't really do much with those characters. They're, they're kind of, you know... The production of the bun is Don't Die K-Angel game. It's a casual and quick place game that I hope you all enjoy. I also made the super cute K-Angel animation that pops up when you win, so keep your eyes peeled for that, too. Hmm... I was in charge of the staff messages, page and launcher, along with the block breaking game. Both of us from our circle helped out, but I'll be speaking to you as group rep. The staff messages section pays homage to the famous PC-98 game? Oh. Well, there you go. The block breaker one from PC-88. I feel like you can only really get those kinds of things on fan discs, and this is probably one of the few chances in the modern age when we get to experience something this retro, even when it comes to NSO content, so I hope you all have fun with it. Lastly, thank you all the players who have played the masterpieces from the era, and to those who are giving this a go. See you all around, then. I did the NSO sound effects, the Windows startup sound, the train jingle, etc. <gasps> They're so good. And the SFX and the background music for the block breaking game. I drew heavy inspirations from the original game that it was based on and played around with the overtones and FM synthesis to make the final product. It ended up pretty good if you ask me. Anyway, enjoy. <gasps> I guess that's all for the game then, considering I don't want to finish the visual novel. That's a skill issue on my part, but it was a lot faster than I thought it would be, which means... I get more time to stare at the wall before my next stream later today. I apologize again for how scuffed the stream is. I don't know, maybe I should private the stream. Maybe I should delete this. Maybe we should pretend this never happened. That's just uh, my, you know, the, the voice of my head that wants my streams to at least be mostly neat talking. I guess I'll leave it be for now. It, it, nothing bad really happened. It was just, you know, that's fine. Yeah, I feel- I, I feel bad that it wasn't better executed, so I apologize for that. That was mostly me not realizing that the launcher launched individual games, so I wasn't really prepared to deal with that, so sorry about that. But I'm glad we could have a little bit of fun together. Glad that I got to play this. Thank you for, um, <laughs> thank you for checking this out with me. It was fun. I really do- I, I really do like the aesthetic of the series. Not- not really so much like the message, because the message is kind of toxic, if we're being honest. It's- it's pretty fucking toxic. It's like... I- I guess that's the point, though. It's supposed to be like the worst type of like unhinged streaming woman that there exists out there. But I really like her design. That's my main thing. I really like her design. It's- it's really fucking cute. 
<laughs> it's really cute to me. So that's all I have for you guys for now. If you would like to spend more time with me today, I will be back in um, a little less than two hours. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Keep your eyes peeled for that. <laughs> you aren't Canadian. You don't need to apologize. Yeah, but I got fucking manners, you know? If you let a horse eat at your table, it's probably gonna have some degree of civilization to it, you know? It's... There's- there's a, a process to this. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna- I'm gonna head out now. So you guys have a good rest of your day if you're not gonna come back later. Otherwise, I'll see you in a little bit, alright? <gasps> Take care! Goodbye for now! Hmm, hmm. Hmm, hmm.